because the, the border is not simply about customs and trade. There's a whole other panoply of cross-border cooperation which would be diminished or impeded by the, the different regimes on, on, on both parts of the island. Independent analysis of Boris Johnson's plans to cut income tax for people on the higher rate suggests they would cost around £9 billion pounds and mainly benefit the top 10% of earners. Mr Johnson is also proposing to raise the point at which national insurance is paid. Here's our business correspondent, John T. Bloom. Boris Johnson says he wants to use the money set aside to help the economy in the case of a no-deal Brexit to cut taxes instead. He wants to raise the rate at which people start paying 40% income tax from £50,000 to £80,000. According to the Institute for Fiscal Studies, that would cost the Treasury £9 billion a year, with £4 million of the highest wage earners benefiting most. The top 10% would be £2,500 a year better off. The IFS says increasing the level at which people start paying national insurance to the same rate at which they start paying income tax, £12,500, is probably the best way of helping the low paid, although even this policy would benefit high earners most and would cost £11 billion a year. Southern Water has been told to pay £126 million in fines and customer rebates after the company failed to operate its sewage treatment sites properly. An investigation uncovered what the industry watchdog described as shocking failings by the firm. More details from Dominic O'Connell. The water regulator Ofwat has pulled no punches in its verdict on Southern Water's behaviour. It said the company had been run with scant regard for its responsibilities to society and the environment. Between 2010 and 2017, the company did not properly operate its sewage plants, resulting in spills on beaches and in rivers. Southern Water will pay £3 million to Ofwat, with the remainder of the penalty coming as a rebate on bills. The average Southern Water customer will get £61. The company said it was deeply sorry for past failures. The government has announced a new law for England and Northern Ireland to protect people who have allergies. It will require businesses to list all the ingredients in pre-packaged foods. The legislation, which will come into force by 2021, will be called Natasha's Law, in memory of the 15-year-old Natasha Ednan Laparouz, who died from an allergic reaction after eating a sandwich 